2015 has been one of the best ever years for the Art Fund. Um, our membership has grown to nearly 120,000. We've helped more museums buy more works of art uh, than in many previous years. But more importantly, I think our impact on the whole museum sector and therefore on the wider public uh, has been unprecedented. This year the acquisitions have ranged as ever from the very early right through to the very contemporary. One of the most important innovations over the past year has been the introduction of Art Happens, this crowdfunding website which we host that we offer as a kind of service to museums so we are effectively helping them raise money for themselves. Um, since we set it up in 2014, it's brought in £200,000 or more of new money from a wide variety of sources. So that reflects an expansion in our ambition to, to help museums beyond just giving them money. The saving of the Wedgwood collection was certainly a big achievement. The new Wedgwood Museum has now reopened in the context of a refurbished and represented Wedgwood experience. The Wedgwood collection is both very important in terms of its artistic quality, but it's also an archive of industrial history. The Museum of the Year aims above all else to seek out and reward innovation. And the winner is the Whitworth. We're on a pathway that, that many of my, my great museum and gallery colleagues are also on around making galleries and museums relevant for the 21st century, making them places of joy and curiosity and visual pleasure, but also places of learning. The Museum of the Year matters above all else for the museums themselves. I mean, winning the prize can have a huge uh, impact, not just in terms of the money, £100,000. Winning the prize can also have an impact um, on the number of people who come to visit. Everyone wants to see the Museum of the Year.